This image from the Blue Ghost lunar lander was recorded Monday morning as the spacecraft began its second full day on the moon. The lander was built by Firefly Aerospace, which relocated to Cedar Park about 10 years ago from California. Company CEO Jason Kim, during a post-landing briefing, took note of this Lone Star accomplishment. And we're just, uh, just proud to be a Texas company, um, making Texas proud, um, making America proud. Shortly after Firefly's 700 employees cheered at a watch party and from their headquarters, it was a different scene in this mission control room. A team with Houston-based Intuitive Mechanics tracked the progress of their lunar lander named Athena. Monday, it started orbiting the moon and will attempt a landing March the 6th. And we're rooting for them. Um, that's incredible. That just shows you a proof point that Texas is the capital of lunar landers right now. Space exploration by private companies like Firefly and Intuitive is part of NASA's plan to send humans back to the moon and then to Mars. I know when I was driving in today and I, I, I was thinking about Austin and I was like, this is so cool that we have Firefly right here in Austin. So. One of the things that's really interesting for the government is to see all these different approaches and then see which ones, which of the strengths are really realized in execution. Future innovation, it's hoped, will come from Texas classrooms. Local opportunities in aerospace can be limited. But Blue Ghost program manager Ray Allensworth a lot of says that's changing. Firefly. Whether you're an engineer or a technician or, you know, you work on our facility staff, you know, you're able to live and work where you grew up. And I, I think that's really important. This is exactly what we want to see. You know, we want to inspire the next generation. We want to build a sustainable uh, economy, space economy um, for the U.S., uh, inspiring these U.S. companies to step forward and take on these challenges and support NASA to do great things. The Texas Space Commission was created back in 2023 to help grow the space industry across the state. In February, nearly $50 million in grant money was awarded. Intuitive and Firefly among the five companies to receive funding. And we're going to use those funds, those hard-earned funds, towards expanding our lunar lander production line. And um, it just shows that, um, you know, Texas is uh, committed to space and to NASA.